Good morning, folks. Today we're going over a bit of space weather, some interesting news on exoplanets, cosmic dust, and the backward spinning polar vortex, and we're also giving an early hurricane forecast for this year's Atlantic Basin season. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star where solar flaring has dropped out as the big sunspots depart. There was a sizable filament eruption on the south incoming bottom left, and the central plasma filament remains. The most exciting moment of the last day was indeed that filament eruption on the incoming limb. It was huge and erupted southward away from the Earth. We are still monitoring that big one facing the Earth right now. Let's go on to the science news where they have found the first super earth that is tidally locked. It is a permanent day side and a permanent night side. Astronomers had no actual evidence for such planets in this size range until now. Many of you have heard about the polar vortex spinning backwards, and now I have the unpleasant privilege of bursting bubbles. This happens all the time. It occurs when the sudden stratospheric warming sets in after the winter cold, and this year's is only the sixth strongest event since 1979 interesting, but not terribly significant. New study coming out showing a wild isotope ratio in a cosmic dust grain. They want to blame a supernova from a distant and long ago eruption, but observers, I'm sure many of you are like me wondering if it was a unique specimen from a past solar micronova. There is no real way to know. Now lastly here folks, forecasting hurricane season. Here are the sea surface temperatures and in order to begin this forecast we'll switch to the temperature anomaly mapping. First, we see La Nina creeping in to take over El Nino. That favors tropical development and is expected to continue building. And the Atlantic waters, they look like they usually do in June, which also favors tropical development. As we see snippets from our textbook, we are reminded of two things, that those sea surface temperature anomalies are likely driven by the high solar activity of late, combined with the weakening magnetic field of Earth allowing more of that energy into the system. And it also means that with sunspot maximum slated for later this year, these ocean anomalies are unlikely to change. If anything, they're more likely to get more extreme. Therefore, at this time, there is only one conclusion, that this is going to be a particularly bad season from the tropical storm perspective in terms of development in the Atlantic Basin. We'll see how it unfolds in the months ahead. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.